first trailer for Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny has dropped. I got a lot of hesitations about this film. I'd love to be one over though, so let's do this. I miss the desert. I miss the sea. And I miss waking up every morning. Wondering what wonderful adventure the new day will bring to us. Those days have come and gone. Perhaps. Perhaps not. <laughs> I don't believe in magic. But a few times in my life, I've seen things. Things I can't explain. I've come to believe it's not so much what you believe. It's how hard you believe it. I'm her godfather. Related. Get back. <laughs> All right, real quick before I share my thoughts on it, be sure to join me down below in the comments section. Let me know what did you think about the trailer for Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Now I did do a ranking of the Indiana Jones movies like five years ago, so it's super early on my channel. So you can check it out up here, but it's, very out of date for um, my style of making videos. I'm gonna watch this one more time, then I'm gonna start talking about it. Alrighty, so my concerns about the project aside, that's just a great trailer right there. That just hits all the notes that you wanted to hit. Uh, it, it's gorgeous looking. The action looks big in scope and size, but um, consistent with what's come before. Um, there's some jokes that landed for me. It's great to see these characters again. It, it feels, feels right. I was just seeing the trailer was like, that's, man, I'm getting all the feels that I was hoping I would feel watching a new Indiana Jones trailer. All that said, um, I, I still kind of go into it, just a lot of concerns of just simply <sighs> part of the, the fantasy of Indiana Jones, the appeal, the draw is this kind of man in his prime, intelligent, good looking adventurer and that kind of person that every guy wants to be, every girl wants to be with, that sort of thing. And then when you take that, it's it's an 80-year-old man. I just don't know that it works anymore. Even a well-aged 80-year-old man like Harrison Ford is still an 80-year-old man. That the, the fantasy, the escapism of it isn't quite the same anymore when he's literally over 80 years old. And likewise, the other big concern is that part of the, the appeal of the Indiana Jones franchise was kind of the old school practical effects, real stunt work. And I get concerned if too much of this is going to feel like people on in front of green screens doing CGI things. And there's a lot of shots in there that, um, you know, they're not throwing 80 year old Harrison Ford on top of a train. So some of that concerns me in that sense, like I want old school practical effects in stunt work, and you can't do that with an 80 year old man prone towards injuries, which Harrison Ford is very prone towards injuries. So th those are kind of the big concerns I have just generically going into it. I think James Mangold is a fantastic director, um, but I also don't want a Logan-esque deconstruction of Indiana Jones. I want a good old fashioned fun Indiana Jones adventure. And so I have a, a, so many mixed feelings. One of my favorite characters of all time, one of my favorite actors of all time, and so love the original trilogy of films. And I, I'm not even like really a hater of Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. It's obviously the weakest, but I'm not like a hater of it like a lot of other people. I just don't know. Does it still work with an 80-year-old Indiana Jones? The trailer by itself, that was a great trailer. It, it absolutely did its job of making me go, okay, I got my skepticism. You were able to cut around it. Everything I'm like, I don't know, man. You were able to immediately just bypass all of that, making go, 
Oh yeah, I want to see that. I cannot wait to check that out. That looks very cool. So that's a trailer's job. That's what it did. So well done trailer. And as much as I have my cynicism, my skepticism towards the project, based on the trailer, man, I can't wait to see that movie. And at the at the end of the day, I love the character. So of course I want, can't wait to see more Indiana Jones in would only love to be one over. That's my thoughts on it. Let me know what you thought down below in the comment section. Check out my ranking of the Indiana Jones movies right over there. Once again, it is a very old video on my channel, so it's a little bit different. Thank you so much for watching. Keep talking movies and TV too much. Bye.